based on perspective, the Earth is over 4.5 billion years old. The current calendar we use today originates from the Julian calendar that was created by Julius Caesar himself in Rome over 2,000 years ago. Jesus himself existed over 2,000 years ago. Therefore, the concept of a new year is pretty mixed. At any time you want to change and better yourself, you can. It's just all about the time. And this is quintessential. Get <laughs> damn Tyson, man. Come on. Good morning, huh? Hey, morning, Sean. Man, do my eyes deceive me? Last time I seen you up this early, it was graduation day. <laughs> you had to go there, huh? You saying? You know, real deep prayers, you just want to run to Stoke. <laughs> man. Hey man, back in my day when I was growing up, women kept all their money in their bras. Your auntie done spent so much money on purses and whatnot, she don't even know what damn purse is. Damn Tyson. I 
time to upgrade that game system, don't you think? What? No, man. Nothing better than the classics. These new systems, far too complicated. <laughs> classics are always better. <laughs> Favorite game of all time, man. At one point before he went to prison, baddest man on the planet. I'm talking he was knocking everybody out. First round, 30 seconds, 45 seconds. People pissed off buying pay-per-views to see Mike fight for less than a minute. I mean, if you got up to go to the bathroom, you missed it. Fight was over. They were doing post-game interviews. It was, that's it. Took me seven years to beat Mike Tyson on this game. And when I figured out how, I must have whooped his ass all night long. Do you know the crazy thing? That game made millions. Made millions. Still being played to this day. But Mike, Mike made $50,000 and no royalties. Is it? That's all he got. But you know what? It's like I always tell you. Read everything. Read the fine print. Write it down. And read it out loud again. There you go. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, wow, man. Hey, just keep it 100. Ain't that what y'all say? Y'all keep it 100? 100. Y'all wanna know who is this? Come witness two players that's dropping these hits with the quickness. Uh -huh. Slim Thug and then CJ be some ballers. That's about I pay. You howlers on the end of state. Candy crawlers down MLK. I do day for day on the block. Pushing rocks and ducking cops. Ice dot and candy drops. Making all these boppers pop. When I come to candy blue, road out. I am a conqueror. I made it through the storm. I am a warrior. This battle I have won. You were there to see, see me through. Now I'm a conqueror. All because I found you. I made it through. All because of you. I made it through. Yes, your word, it is true. I lean on you. And I made it through my test. All because I serve the best. I love the Lord more than anyone. But this isn't church. This is work. And I'm trying to concentrate. See, what was wrong with you women? Thinking you can take a man's place. Man. See, y'all don't know y'all place. That's why the black households are so messed up today. No, y'all don't know y'all's place as a man. And, and that, that don't have nothing to do with you cheating on Sharon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what you know about Ronald Reagan? Problem started in the 80s with Ronald Reagan and Reagan numbers. The black family used to be a strong unit. And then Ronald Reagan and his administration, they had a guy named Oliver North. Oliver North's job was to fund the countries. You know, one of his job was to flood the hood with the crack. And that's what he did. So many broken homes, so many broken families. And not to mention all the brothers and sisters that that them put in prison. It displaced the man and the woman. And we as a people still haven't recovered from that. But we are strong people, <laughs> which our roots are from kings and queens. And now, in this day and time, women is so independent, they don't feel like they need a man. They do. <laughs> no, the household is messed up because you traveling men don't know how to be men. And that ain't got nothing to do with you cheating on Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> hey Jones, boss me want to see
Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. I'm uh, here to see Mr. Benton. Okay. Miss Jones? Yes. Okay, you can go ahead and see him. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. by HR today, and inquiring minds want to know, are you not happy with your job, Ms. Jones? I, I mean, I am, sir. I, I'm grateful to have a job. I just seen Look, that it was an opening. Don't be as me. I like my conversation just like I like my liquor. Straight into the point. No chases, no mixes. Just tell me plainly, are you happy? Well, yes and no. I mean... I love this company, and I do see a future here for myself. The department I'm in, it's just filled with overstressed people. And the supervisor, he's a micromanaging jerk. And every time I get paid, I just let the money sit in my bank account just so I can feel like I'm balling for 60 minutes. <laughs> because after I pay my bills, I'm broke again. Mm hmm How long have you felt that way? Well... It was okay at first, but I would say, oh, the last 10 months. 10 months, huh? And being uncomfortable. So explain this. It's an application, Mr. Benton. I submitted this for the sales team manager. I see. Now, how's the morale out on the floor and out in the field? Well, sir... I don't make it a habit to speak for others. My liquor. Like I like my liquor, Miss Jones. Straight into the port. <sighs> well, sir, respectfully, people just seem tired and unmotivated. You all stress profits, which according to the Tuesday meetings and the Thursday meetings and the Monday meetings, before the meeting, before the meeting, we are having a record year of sales, but the emotional toll well, it's taxing, sir. And you're here now, telling me you've been feeling this way about your work, and you never bothered to step a foot in my office and have a conversation with me. Hmm. See, now that bothers me, Miss Jones. I do all I can to make myself accessible to every employee in this company, including you. I call to proceed as a nice guy. I walk around to ensure that everything is working good. I'm always the first one here and one of the last ones to leave. In that application of yours that I reviewed, well, I found it rather concerning. I think your expectations are entirely too low, especially your salary expectations. I'm going to give you what you asked for, plus 15% more. You're now the sales lead manager, Miss Jones. Oh my God. You work hard. Thank you so much, Miss Jones. You work smart. I promise you. And you bring a good, this. positive energy. You, Miss Jones, produce good food. Employees like you, Miss Jones, make great managers. And all those problems in the field, I want to fix them. Do what you have to do to improve not only production, but morale as well. And I'm personally going to have a meeting with that micromanager. I was calling to tell you that um, I got to work late. Some of my uh, employees didn't come in for their shift tonight. Uh, they working you late again, huh? 
Yeah, unfortunately, but you know we're always about that money, honey. Well, it's fine. My sister Debris is still here, and she's going to hang out a little while longer and cook dinner for us before she leaves. You know, her and her husband Tank still into it, so she's trying to hang out as long as possible. Yeah, that's fine. I understand. Just make sure you guys put me something up. Well, definitely, baby. You can't have you work all day and come home to nothing. <laughs> that's why I love you. I'll talk to you later. All right. Love you too, honey. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Okay, class. Well, let's think about this concept. Does greatness inspire greatness? Well, I like to think it did. In 1991, true story, true story, I attended the first football camp held by legendary NFL running back Emma Smith. It was in North Texas. Did some of his greatness rub off on me? Well, I like to think it did. And let's look at Michael Jordan. He's the only athlete to start as a player and end up as a full majority owner. When we look at the amazing business savvy that that required, that class is one of the reasons he's not only one of the most polarizing sports figures in American history, but also one of the greatest individuals in American history. All right. Are there any questions or concerns? All right, class, and be sure to check your discussion board online for any updates. And we'll go ahead and call that a good stopping point. Uh, we'll go ahead and call that a day. Uh, class is dismissed. Uh, I will see you all next class period, and you all have a wonderful evening. Mr. J, I know this was due at 12 o'clock last night. The School Connect board online. It wouldn't let me pull your class up. I'm not sure if it was because of the server or technical difficulties, but I printed it out. I hope it's acceptable. Oh, really, Mrs. Carruthers. Amory Carruthers. Amory G. Carruthers. <laughs> the G is silent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little Red Fox, huh? Yes, sir. Red Fox is one of my favorite comedians. Well, uh, Mrs. Carruthers, I haven't received any other student complaints or concerns saying anything about any problems with the online system. Oh, um, I haven't received anything from IT about any technical glitches either. Uh, but I tell you what, let me do a little bit of research on that. Samory, there seems to be a little trouble with your account. It's financial aid, and your status in this class is currently suspended. You need to go see financial aid immediately. $10,000. This is all I'm going to be able to do for you, Ms. Carruthers. I can set you up on a payment plan, but there are stipulations with that. You're going to have to pay half the money you owe, or we will have to drop you from your classes. Now, I will be able to extend the payment due date out 30 days. Is that 30 calendar days or 30 business days? Out 30 business days. And thank you again for your help. Being allowed more time is just as equal as getting more money. It gives a chance for something else to come up. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this food. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. This is my little sister, Savitra. She gonna be successful in life cause she listens. This is my brother. He's overprotective, but I know he loves me. That's the homie. OG. 
to keep me right. This is my Uncle McKinley. He's the family leader. This is my daughter, Aisha Phelps. I love being me. I'm really proud of her. Woo, your Aunt Debris sure can cook. Sure can cook. Yeah, she sure can. I mean, she needs her own restaurant. This is outstanding. Yeah, she did that. Yeah, she did that. I pay either. Yeah, she did that. Yeah, she did that. <laughs> you and me both. Woo. Man. My sister Debris sure can cook. My wife, Risha. Worked late at the hospital all week this week. I'll tell you what, though. We're going to try to save some when she get off work, but no promises. That's a big try. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, man. Hope to see some much improved grades on your report card. Oops. Yeah, it's really tense. We got standard out tests coming. That's all we'll be doing lately. What have you been working on in school? Mainly my STEM stuff. You know, I'm trying to get myself together for college. STEM? I don't believe I've ever heard of that. What's STEM? You've never heard of STEM? Well, STEM is an acronym for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. It's basically to better help your career for college. Wow, that's pretty interesting. And those are the four major things that you need to succeed in any college and any professional level. I'm really excited that you're taking those classes. I think we all at this table need to be considering college, don't we? What about you, Vashon? What's going on with you? I love my nephew, Vashon, but I had to fire him from this construction company I'm a supervisor at because he's a walking safety hazard. I got options. I can tell the truth. That I'm stressed out, broke, unemployed, and I don't trust my BM. And she sure as hell don't trust me. And I need money fast because child support is adding up. Let me get ready for this one. I've had a few extenuating circumstances come upon me lately. I just had a baby a, a few months ago. There were a few complications. I had to stay in the hospital more time than I expected. I'm low on funds and my mother's already behind on the bills. We're going to need $5,000 from you in 30 days. We're going to have to drop you from your course. We're having a hard time making ends meet. There's no way I can come up with this money. I need your help. Well, I could go with option two. Be positive and say something looking on the bright side. Yeah, I think option two is the best play. Everybody eating this good food? Everything good, huh? I know my nephew is having all kind of financial difficulties. So what are you planning on doing with your life, Sean? On this chicken show, it's good, eh? <laughs> nice. I wish I could help him out, but all my money's well, going toward bills and return. You can't cook, so I'll give you that. This food is great. I'm just trying to find my way in this world without my mother. Baby, you have no idea. I feel for a man to be working hard and this beautiful queen walking the door to breathe. Now, I just love you for calling me your beautiful queen, and I'm just so happy to see you today. Babe, both of my businesses, I mean, it's going really great. Business is good. But, you know, we got to get these employees on track showing up on time. What do you suggest that we do? Babe, relax. This is what the world's coming to. Women executives today. You know that young lady, Miss Jones, I told you about? Mm -hmm. Today I promoted her to senior sales manager. Really? I mean, that's a good business move for, you know, for the company. It really is. Let, let, let's see how it's about to take off, really, because you know what? With her as being your executive now, we can't do anything but go up. We can't fail. I guess it's true what they say. Behind every successful man is a strong woman. Hello? I'm playing. What you doing? Just waking up. Okay. This is my boyfriend. This is my boyfriend. Poseidon. Poseidon. He's often misunderstood. He's often misunderstood. He's really a good guy. Hey, what, what are your brothers and your uncles and your cousins 
This damn game be cheating. You know why I keep playing it. The game cheating, huh? Oh, yeah, baby. That son of yours is just now returning my text. Oh, yeah, baby. What do you say? Hello, my beautiful mother. <laughs> that I am. Suck up. Sorry for the late text. I've been wrapped up on this project at work. Me and Tanya will be over tomorrow after church and we'll be staying in the city for Labor Day. Tell the rest of the family I love them. P.S. Tell my sister Aisha she's still ugly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's gonna be good to have him and his wife here. She just don't know. She got a good man on her hands. All right, absolutely. At least he better be. We raised him so he don't have a choice but to be a good man. Here you go. I will tell you one thing, though. I don't know where they staying. McKinley, Look. they're staying here. Look. And there are three things that's not gonna happen in this house. One, there ain't nobody sleeping on my floor. Two, nobody sleeping on my couch. And three, ain't nobody messing up no damn sheets here. Messing up sheets, huh? Yeah, what? I bet you know all about that, don't you? Yeah, a little something. Mm-hmm. Well, I remember how many sheets we messed up when we first got married. What was that, 25 years ago? Uh, correction, 26 years ago. That year we were separated still counts. You were still my wife. Yes, Mr. McKinley. I'm glad your sister was able to come in town. You know, I haven't seen her or had any of that good cooking since the funeral. I mean, she's a really good cook. You see how fat her husband done got, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they good eating. Good eating and good living. In Hawaii, they would have thought he was a king. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, babe, but... I'm not sure how I feel about all these lawyers in this court hearing. Yeah, babe, I know. It's been two years and we're just now getting a court hearing. Yeah, well, it's getting late. We got a lot to do tomorrow and not enough time in the day. So, let's turn this game off. No, hold on, babe. I'm on the last level. Turn it off. Wait a minute. Come on now. Wait, babe. Just let me finish. Mm -hmm. Hey. Let me finish and you might have a good night. Just let me finish. Come on, girl. Okay. Give me the Because he might got this place wired up right now. They, they, they know, know where you about to go. They don't want you to know. They don't want you to know. They don't want you to be great. They don't want you to be great. They don't want you to know. Are you ready? I'm going to give you something. Oh, come on, man. I ain't no little kid. Come oh, on, baby. Alright. Mm. Mm. Switch it around. 
15 minutes, you can go make me breakfast. You can go make the bed. You can go clean your Jordan or something. 15 minutes, I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> Oh, look at your boy. Yeah, hey, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see, it's crispy white. Okay, I'll give it to you. I'm gonna get this stuff more often. Okay. Mm. See, them boys pearly white. Okay. You, okay. All right. You. All right. I'll right. give it to you. So, I'll give it to you. So they white enough to give me a little extra. <laughs> <laughs> like, we know I always got a little bit more than next one. That's a fun. Are you gonna do that every week, every day? Uh, I guess. All right, it's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I need a little bit of TLC. You know, I got you. you. you know, I got you. As a matter of fact, pass me that lotion right now. Yes, yes, yes. What are you doing? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. What are you doing? True, true. Girl, what kind of top is this? It's so mystical. All you gotta do is unscrew it. <laughs> <laughs> you tripping? Tripping? I am. Uh, you, you love me watch? though. No, I do. You love but me you though. get on my nervous. What do you want to watch? Love me though. Keep a little light skinned to pee. Yeah. Am I right there? Mm. Oh. Uh, oh. Wait. Oh. Uh, uh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> what do you want to watch? Oh, yes. watch Just tonight. No spots. Oh, we do it. Yes. yes. Only for tonight. Oh. What is this? Oh, yeah. Hi, this is Rebecca Aaron's Channel 36 News. Must put together the pieces to the puzzle that will answer the question why. <laughs> they tripping. See, if that was you, they are tripping. it would be a wrap. They are tripping. No, seriously. Wow. Yeah, baby, pass me my phone. Oh, oh it's your mom. Oh, snap. Let's see what she said. Hey, wait, wait. Dear Andre, you know we love you. Your father and I have talked. And hell no, you can't stay with us. You do the way to go get a room. Call me when you get situated. Bye-bye. Love you. <laughs> she crazy. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> she crazy. See, that's why I love her so much. You see, she already knows it's going to go down in the dim. It go down. Hey, it go down in the dim. Hey. 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 hey, hey. She already knows what's up. Mm, no, this so is much. going to be a great weekend, <laughs> and I look forward to meeting them all. That's it. Okay? I look forward to it too. Now, hey, let's not forget this is also about my aunt and uh, celebrating her and her life. Yeah, I mean that's unfortunate what happened to her. I really wish I could have met her, but I mean, if she was anything like your dad, then I know she was cool with people. <laughs> oh, really? Like for real? <laughs> Why you yeah, laughing? Cause my dad, he's a trip. I mean. Now, don't get me wrong, I love my pops. I love him to death. But I swear, like, he makes everything into a lecture. Like, like what? Like, check it. All right, so you could be like, hey, yo, dad, what time is it right now? And he'll be like, time? What do you mean, what time is it? Son, it depends where in the world you at. We talking central time, local time, Pacific time, mountain time, Rocky Mountain time, last time, next time, this time. I mean, what time you want? <laughs> he's a mess. He's, cool, well, he's, he's a cool, mess, man. He's, he's cool. alright. Well, anyway, speaking of my pops, we're gonna go to their house. Okay. Boy, it's gonna be a big adventure. You know how I feel about adventures, right? How do you feel about adventures? I mean, especially when I can get one with. <clears throat> This is so the life right now. I'm telling you, sis, you have to start listening to me. This spot trip has been long overdue. I know, but, you know, when you, you know, when you always sometimes, you know, you're devoted to other people's demands, you just forget about your own. Well, every other weekend, at least. <laughs> I 
hear you. James O hate Nancy to get mad at me for it. Yo, ex James. Girl, the gas meter still broke, James. The I ain't never got no money because of child support, James. The girl, James, I'm still up looking at other women's Instagram picture, James. I can't right now. No wonder he's still your ex. Yeah, yeah. But he still inbox me and texts and calls. Mm -mm. Why do you even reply? Like, don't respond. Move on. You deserve better than that. Hold on. Wait a minute. MeetPeople.com, ChristianMingle.com, account number 874-593. I see, I look at your, I was being nosy, I was looking at your Instagram post, and I did not see any me and my boo pictures. You always give a five-star advice, but you always at home every Friday night. Girl, at home, scrolling through my timeline, scrolling through them thirsty messages in my inbox, not missing nothing though. I just don't want them to think I'm their part-time gig, mooching off of me, wanna be pimps. You know, I just ain't gonna waste my time. I have bills. I tell them I don't have it. Yeah, the right one will come along. I don't even look online mm -hmm. for him. I'm gonna keep up alive, and I know it's still somebody out there. Well, me. if they pants ain't tighter than mine's, and they selfie pictures ain't better than mine's, hmm, we might could do something, you know? I'd just rather stay locked up with you, though, sis, and aromatherapy candles lit, and a glass of wine and you know stuff just to enjoy your mind body and soul and don't forget we're going to get something to eat after this on me since you broke <laughs> you know i am <laughs> Spot you five, I get KD, and a winner by a piece of What kind? Pepperoni. Mama's favorite. Oh, talk about mama. I do miss mama. I do. So which one of these dudes you talking to? Stay in my business. Don't start with that. You all my business. You my little sister. Don't Whatever. forget that. It's my business. You want to look? It's my business. I give you look. You ain't gonna get me. Go get that belt. You ain't gonna get me. All right. First giving out thanks to God. My mama, my dad, my sister. All my cousins. My partner. In these streets, a broke man will whoop your ass. In this business world, a rich man will sue your ass. Now you can recover faster from an ass whooping than a financial hit. So Mr. Phipps, in order for you to affect change, we need to hit these folks in their pocketbook. We have done the research. We know we can win. We've had three independent labs who've done high levels of 
diagnostic tests have indeed confirmed high levels of toxicity. A rise in calcium, increased fibroids, and a case of ninoics. Ninoics is a condition caused by increased traction lines and neurocarbon to the bloodstream. Now it causes a very slow and painful death. We've also found the human body does not naturally produce those elements. Now this is highly believed to be caused by the very hard product that your sister was using. Ingredients contained in those products are linked to those harmful elements. In fact, 19 of them. Now by law, we cannot prove that they had intent to harm. Now we cannot go at them criminally, but we can go at them civilly. It's one thing to fight for something that only affects you. Now when you're fighting for a cause that affects others, that's a fight that I'm proud to be a part of. It's one thing that I've learned. It has nothing to do with the truth. It's only about the facts. Miss Slider and her corporation, she produced and sold these goods to the public. And because of that, we need to teach her a lesson. Yeah, well, who would have ever thought putting more chemicals in her hair to make her beautiful would have caused all this? She was beautiful as she was. Gorgeous. You know, there's no amount of money that's going to bring my sister back. But well, we have to do this. I don't want any other family to go through what we've been having to go through. Yes, it's been a long two years and we're ready to get it over with. We are indeed ready to fight. My sister would have wanted us to. So you mean to tell me these people can just drag me in this courtroom and claim that my product is what's getting them sick? Relax, Tasha. With success comes things like this. Relax. This will all blow over and we'll all be back to business as usual. I keep hammering in these courtrooms and you will continue to sell beauty products to make women feel and look beautiful. But what about all this unclean and tainted water, like in Flint, Michigan? All these toxins and exhaust fumes in the air. And all these chemicals, pesticides, and hormones in the food. They just trying to blame me. Sora hates to see a sister shine. I see this all as just a ploy to make a quick buck off a successful businesswoman such as yourself. So exactly where are we with the process? Pre-trial motion stuff. It's basically courtroom dancing and eyeballing. They have already completed the filing process, we received the notice, and I personally gave the response. Now we are in the discovery process. It's a bit of a showdown the first time we see them face to face, in person, rather than just being names on a piece of paper. Then we have a trial, then we go to post-trial. It's a marathon, Miss Slider, not a sprint. You know, you don't even have to be there. Well, it is a civil lawsuit. Am I right? Yes, Miss Slider, it is. So according to my principles, I do have to be there. Not only are you charging me by the hour, you also are not cheap. And I always pay what I owe, and right on time. I'm going to be there every single second, listening to each word every single minute. Well, what's the best course of action? We go to court and get a feel for them. We'll try to intimidate them and find any holes in the case that we can exploit. And nobody, I mean nobody, gets away with trying to legally extort any client of Pinchback Gardner. Have you looked over the reports by the three independent labs? Yes, ma'am. I have personally. And I want to know every single thing that's going on. Miss Leiter, do you remember when you first hired our firm to represent you? How could I forget? It was five years ago. I needed the best attorneys to help me prove that my ex-husband had various accounts set up across the country. I contacted Pinchback Gardner Law Firm, and they gave me three of their best attorneys. Well, two of their best. And a newly hired lawyer straight from college named Lyra. Miss Slider, you were actually my first professional case. Since then, I have went on to become one of the best there is in this law firm. But since the universe tethers one to be humble, let's just say that I'm very, very good at what I do. Companies that my clients have filed suit on, I have recovered over $35 million in damages. 
companies that have sued my clients have oftentimes had cases dismissed or they took us to trial and lost. I have not lost one single civil case and I don't plan on doing so now. Please send me the complete itinerary for the court. I will be there and I won't be on time. I will be early. Oh. Hey Sapphire. What up sis? Just sitting up here waiting on my date that's supposed to be up here. Oh, right. I'm about to head to the tattoo shop. Another tattoo? You must think you one of them rappers or something. Girl, stop. No, I'm getting tatted. I'm celebrating. I got a new job. You know, new ink. You know, my artist is real dope. He gonna get me inked up, get me real nice. I'm in there, so ain't no problems there. This is not another midlife crisis, is it? No, I got a new job. I'm getting a new tattoo. This is what's up, sis. Oh, girl, that's some cool enough. I gotta go. I'll okay. talk to you later. All right, I'll talk to you later. Cool. Bye bye. Two others, also, who were criminals, were being led away to be put to death with him. When they came to the place called the Skull, there they crucified him and the criminals, one on the right and the other on the left. But Jesus was saying, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast lots, dividing up his garments among them. That's my husband. And the people Ooh. stood by, looking on. God is good to me. And even the rulers were sneering at him, yes, saying, him. He saved others. Let him save himself, if this is Christ of the God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up to him, offering him sour wine, and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. Now there was also an inscription above him, this is the king of Jews. One of the criminals who were hanged there was hurling abuse at him saying, Are you not the Christ? Amen, Save Amen. yourself in us. But the other answered and rebuked him saying, Do you not even fear God? Since you are under the same sentence of condemnation. And we indeed are suffering justly. For we are receiving what we deserve for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. And he was saying, Jesus, remember me 
when you come in your kingdom. And he said to him, truly I say to you, today you shall be with me in paradise. Put that phone down. You hear Reverend Wise Church, talking. the first man in heaven under the regime of Jesus was a thief. So remember that the next time that you want to judge someone. Let's remember whom we serve. That's right, Reverend And Wyatt. our purpose and our mission. Our purpose and our mission is to save and win souls for Christ. Amen. All right. We have to ask. What are we doing in the church today? No, really. What are we doing? i tell you what we are doing. We are allowing the world to be more accepting than us. We, as a church, are becoming more judgmental than the world. Yes. We judge, we criticize, Amen. and we condemn. Yes. And we, we harass truth. people to the point that they don't even want to come and be around us. And we, in reality, are turning them away from God. It's our duty to pull people to us and bring them to God. I'd rather have 100 sinners who wants to come to God and repent than have a thousand people who think they are perfect and better than others. We have to do better, church. All of our days are numbered. Amen, Pastor. Okay, that's right. Let me. But he's really That's cool. my youngest son, Andre. He's got a lot to learn, but he's got a good head on his shoulders. He just got married and has a wonderful wife named Tony. No, that is not my son and his family. How are you doing? Oh my gosh, I love the color of that couch. That's him, right? This is my Uncle Charles. He's strict, but he really loves me. Dre, he's good, dude. Love you. How are you? He should be tripping sometimes. But Charles, his big brother. Hey! Hey! It's the home. Oh, what up, Pop? Hey, what up, Pop? Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Good to see you, man. This is my Aunt Quina, Charles' wife. That's my oldest boy, Charles. And I gotta tell you, I'm so proud of him. He's always been a leader, stand up guy, very responsible. Me and my wife did a hell of a job raising him. You think you beat me at basketball, don't you? Well, you at your mind. No, you at your mind. Let's get it. You gonna shoot for ball? No rush me. You gonna play with that fella? Man, shut up, man. Try with it. And one. All right, good one. Game point. Game point on you. 
Game point on you. Too little. Cubs. What's up, man? Bro, I'm trying to find work. School ain't trying to find me. What you mean school ain't trying to find you? Bro, I done applied to so many schools. I done applied to so many jobs. It's nothing. It's like it don't even matter. I'm good at basketball, bro. That's it? That's your only option? Yeah, I'm trying to do whatever, dog. School, work, military. Dog, I need some money in my pocket quick, dog. Ah, right. chill. Hey, man, I'm going to be real with you, man. You just graduated. You already late to the game. You should already have your plan set. I'm just telling you this because I'm your cousin and I love you. Look, this world don't give a damn about you, man. I'm going to be straight up. Get out there and do something. Prove that man wrong. Prove whoever you got to prove wrong. You see all these cats out here that ain't doing nothing? You want to know what's going to happen when you enter this world without a plan? You're going to be a typical nigga. Ain't nothing about me, typical cub. You're going to be a typical nigga. Another statistic. Another nigga on the block. Or in the rec league just hooping. You want your child to see that? Nah. Nah. You're going to see my highlights on DVDs. And on the internet. Like you got to do to see Kobe's or LeBron's. Ah, right, so you playing, man. I'm being for real. What's your options? I just told you. I ain't got none. Look, this is what I can do for you, all right? I can get you a job. I can get you on where I'm at. But this is what you got to do for me, Kenfo. Put in a job application. But for one, you don't know me. Two, don't be late. And three, and I'm so serious when I say this. If I do get you on, do not mess this up. Please. I won't, bro. I won't, bro. That's love. All right, man. Um, and 
And um, she's a model now, so I just support her and I like her pictures. Um, see, no, that's not gonna work for me because you're married now. So the only supporting you should be doing on social media is to me. Gosh, gosh, where you go with that social media hawking? Hawking. Yes, yeah, hawking. How I am I hawking? Started. I'm hawking? Yes. How am I hawking? When you like a picture, it shows up on my timeline. We have mutual friends. Okay. So that means everything that they see, I see, they see. So they see you liking those pictures. It's embarrassing and it's like cheating. Whoa, cheating. Cheating. Seriously, how in the world is it like cheating? Yo, this is the new era of social media networking. It's not cheating. It's 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 more like support. Support. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's quotations. nice to know that we're going to cross all the lines when you get married. What question though? Is it all right that I like pictures of my male friends with their whippling abs and if they got their boxer shorts on with the eggplant showing and then all I your mean, friends can see it and your mom and dad right. can see it? Then is it just supporting? Huh? Huh? Yeah, that's, I mean, that's your cup of tea. No, I mean, that's, that's that double standard. Double bullshit. standard? Yes. How is that a double standard? You're a married man now. You cannot do single man things. Baby, you are acting like I am just straight up cheating, like I am just carrying women to a motel, hotel, holiday inn, how you want to name it. Like I'm on cheaters or something. And the white dude's at the door. He's like, hello, Andre. We're here to tell you that we've been watching you for a while. You know? I'm glad that this is funny to you. Because it is. Baby, listen. I love you. I love you. And I respect this marriage. Okay, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe yeah. it's harmless. But is it? I mean, think about it. What society tells us. The divorce rates, the music we listen to. Nobody respects anybody. No one loves anybody anymore. And, and how can they? 20 years ago, we're in school. You graduate. You said bye-bye. Au revoir. Have a nice life. And maybe you saw someone at the supermarket and said, hey. But now, with all this social media and stuff, no one's disconnected. Everybody's too plugged in. And as soon as you meet somebody, boom. Social media shows the world your every move. Starts with liking pictures. Then you're in the DM. See what I mean by that? Wow. I am. Uh, I never thought about it like that. Hold on, wait. Why are you tripping though? Like you know you have access to my phone 24-7. Yeah, and you have access to mine too, but... I don't want to feel like I need to do that because the moment I do, I know I've already lost you. What? <clears throat> wow. You know, Reverend Wyatt warned me about this. About what? This. This right here. And how this marriage wasn't going to be easy. How it's going to have its ups and have its downs. And, and, and it's going to be a marathon. And not just a sprint. And how it's going to take for both of us to make this work. Hmm. Compromise. Yeah. So, I'll compromise. Okay, I'm listening. I will not like any pictures of any females that... Mm -mm, no, no. See, I was born at night, just not last night. <laughs> I know it's in your nature to look. You a do. You gonna look. It's cool. I'm not tripping. But I want to feel special too. So this is how we compromise. You have to like my pictures just as much, if not more, than the other girls. But not too much. I don't want people to think you're crazy. Okay. Even though I know you're crazy about me. You know I'm crazy about you. She's beautiful. So I always be liking your pictures. When? Sometimes. When? I mean, um, is it, yo. That one picture you posted, uh, the potluck. Okay. You know, you know the potluck. Too shame. Okay. Too shame. And besides, I better not be catching you out here posting no half naked, bucket naked pictures, <laughs> having all these little side dude groupies trying to now come after you, you and stuff. Cause I ain't about to be supporting you and no side dudes. Now you know I don't have no side dudes. <laughs> I'm Naisha Curry type. Are oh, you Aisha? Right, so you know I, I got upset, right? With you know, the posture. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Okay. All right, all right. But you only get those type of pictures if you act right. Yeah. yeah. Girl, you tripping? Talk about if. If you act right, because I'm going to get those pictures regardless. So 
especially when you're so by yourself drunk. You don't know. You do not know my life. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you don't know yeah. nothing you know about I that. Know all about that. No, no. Hey, how about we go to that daiquiri shop? We should go to. Ooh, let me let me see if they still open. Ah, we got two hey, hours. Hey, 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 yo, yo, check this out. Okay. Meet me at the lobby. Okay. You dress. Find a little, you know, whatever you want to put on. And I'll see you down there. Little Miss Social Media Moderator. Whatever. <laughs> days or whatever. Well, they say home is where the heart is, so no, that our new home is home. And I'm your heart. Yeah, true that, true that. You know, uh, we still have to meet up with the real estate agent and the builders. Oh, no. Yes, I know, I know. We also have to sign those, um, you know, the spot of contracts before we put down the deposit to get started on building our home. I mean, at least we won't have to worry about our maintenance men or those apartment managers just strolling through our place when we're not there because they have like some master key or whatever. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a big step. It is. Who would have thought? Somebody like me, all the way from the Midwest, falling in love with a charming young guy from Dallas. I'm so blessed. We just got our rings, and we're about to sign a mortgage to the house. It's just gonna be so great. There's so many other things that we can do. It like soon we'll have a mortgage, and you know, and kids. You know I love kids. But more importantly, I love making these kids. Oh, you are so messy. But this mortgage thing, it it scares me a bit. I mean, a part of me hates that word. What's wrong with that word, baby? You do know it's a security of debt to our personal property, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, they call it home ownership, but I don't really see the ownership in it. I mean, if we don't pay, they take it away. If we do pay, we still have to pay yearly taxes on it. I mean, it's just debt, like everything else in this world. I mean, the collateral should help a little. So, yeah. Hey, you know what? It's like the Rick Ross song, baby. Four approaches. Cash rules. Success is a precious jewel. So... That means there's the keys. Don't worry about the world's problems tomorrow. And I'm about to go get some damage because those things are amazing. So, you are the designated driver. Thank you so much for volunteering. We appreciate your services. But you're supposed to. But you're supposed to. But you're supposed to. Wait, wait. Thank you. Oh, you are not right. You're supposed to be making me feel better. Can you run a attendance report on Savitra? 
Easter. Damn skippers. Damn. Who you tasting? You nosy. If you must know, it's my friend Jessica. She looking for me. Looking for you, huh? Well, look, you you the one want to skip school. I just came and got you. <laughs> you had like Whitney Houston. I wait wild in that. And I'm the innocent one. Like Bobby Brown. But see, to the untrained eye, I look like the bad guy. But I hope your uncle don't find that you weren't in school today. Go get something to eat. You hungry? I just so happened to be taking my baby girl to the doctor today, and I see y'all. Out of school, huh? Out of school. Okay. Okay. All right. Y'all have a good one. All right. Mr. Phillips, do you know the best way to tell this gold is fake or real? What, sir? Just use a magnet. Real gold don't stick to magnets. Time. Time, Mr. Phillips. Time will put a magnet to us all to see if we real or fake. But, Mr. Phillips, do you know why I hired you? Is it because I graduated in the top 1% of my class? Or I had 200 community service hours in the company when I was in college? Well, yes. All of those things helped. They really did. But the real reason why I hired you, because you're smarter than me. And when you decide to hire people smarter than you, now that's a smart decision. And smart people around you makes you look good. And here at Brown Enterprises, we make smart decisions and only hire smart people. Do you know what that means, Mr. Phelps? And the workers in the department, we've increased productivity by 20% since this last quarter. I think that's 10% more than you expected. That means, sir, there's no need to micromanage the smart people that we hire. Relax, Phelps. We want our morale high. We want our people relaxed while working in a peaceful environment. Now, I'm making a few changes around here, starting with Miss Jones from your department. I just gave her a promotion, and now that leaves an opening in your department. Well, I'm happy for Mrs. Jones, and she was a hard worker. I appreciate her. She would do well, sir. And for the company, um, it's actually a blessing that you're talking to me about this now, sir. I do have a person I would like to hire on. He's my cousin. Now hold on, sir. You know how I feel about hiring family. Everything they do is a direct reflection of you. You look good if they work hard and produce good fruit. But oh so foolish if they don't. Mr. Ben, I understand your views and our HR policies on that. Sir, but my cousin really has a lot of promise. He's overcome challenges growing up. He works hard. He's trying to get into college. Besides, he has a baby mama who wants her cut, and she's tired of getting nothing. She's riding him pretty hard. He just got a lot to prove, sir. I'll tell you what, Mr. Phipps. I did say you were smart, so I trust your judgment. It's a well-known fact that people hire nowadays is based on who they know rather than what they know. So we're running through our standard hiring procedure. Have him go through the interview process and compete for that spot. If he's approved by HR, then I might hire him. Until then, I will keep your cousin in mind, Mr. Phillips. Yeah, this is my little cousin, Vashon. He has a good head on his shoulder. Just make bad decisions sometimes. I don't know, I got him. Big cousin got him. It's gotta be a hit. So 
you had fun at the restaurant? Yeah. No, I had to bring you here. It's a special place to me. You a special lady to me. My old man used to bring me here when I was little. You know, I ain't think we were going to make it. But then I seen how fast you were eating your food. You supposed to at least swallow. Is you all right? I can't help that I'm hungry. What you mean you hungry? I'm pregnant. Pregnant? My brother. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see what you was going to say. My mother used to always tell me stories. How my brother cut her hoop dream short. But she loved us. And she sacrificed so much stuff for us. Man, I wish you could have met her. Think she would have liked me. You a thug, a hustler, and a rapper. You scare people when you be looking mean. But if she got to know you, she'll see. You're a swell chick. You have six new voice messages and four saved messages. New message from the chief of staff. I got to come out here. The manager, yes, she's going to be our manager. Yes. I have to remember something like something I know we had before. Hello? Brother McKinley. Hey, Reverend, how you doing this morning? Well, Brother McKinley, I have a little bit of bad news. Some of my co-workers talked to me into going into a nice spot during the work week. <laughs> I'm going to be so tired in the morning. It's got to be a hit. Diamond D and Mike Jones. Diamond D and Mike Jones. Diamond D and Mike Jones. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Why you walk with it? is invigorating. I hope that the food is nourishing. I hope that the vibe is living. And I hope that our drinks hit you in all the right spots. Bring your best poetry, your best art, your best rhymes to the stage. The sign-up sheet is right here with me. And now, introducing our first poet to the stage, Snaps and Claps, y'all, for Blue Mahogany. Approximately 95% of the times that I become aggravated and frustrated. The reasons why are usually closely related. As I turn my struggles into my strengths, I rapidly realize that things are not as horrible as they may seem. If I search outside of the box to strive anxiously to be the conqueror, the survivor, that my savior has created me to be. I'm stronger than what I give myself credit for. I am capable of accomplishing so much more. That was powerful, you know, how was just powerful. <laughs> well, it's just about doing better and being better. See, I got a son who loves me and looks up to me. I have to be a great example for him. 
and I can teach him how to live through me. So that makes me his teacher. For instance, rest in peace, Muhammad Ali. He was a great man. Him, Malcolm X, Minister Louis Farrakhan, they all are greats, but they also had a teacher, which was the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, and he had a teacher, Master Father Muhammad. See what society they try to do, they try to make you look at the students, and they don't ever mention the teachers. For example, how we look at Jesus, we look at Jesus and try to worship Jesus, but Jesus never said worship him. He said follow him. And when if we tap into the same source he was getting, which was God, then we can do the same things that he was doing. And so that's what it's all about. All rise. Civil case number zero zero seven. 373-5963, now in session, the Honorable Judge Nelson Carter presiding. You may be seated. Let me tell you all about a great director. He was so great, in fact, he was the first African-American director in American history. His name was Oscar Mushaw. He went on to direct over 40 films, and he is quoted as saying, there is no barrier to success which diligence and perseverance cannot hurdle. Plaintiffs, defendants, welcome to my courtroom. Welcome to my home and the place where I do business in this great state of Texas. This is civil court, so obviously you couldn't handle this on your own, so you're here to see me. And like Oscar Mushaw, I will work very diligently to overcome every hurdle and to get every fact. But know this, I'm a reasonable and understanding judge, but I do not like my time wasted. Plaintiffs, you may not speak. Thank you, Your Honor. My clients have lost, Your Honor. They've lost someone that can never be replaced and cannot be replaced because of something that could have been prevented. We intend to prove that, Your Honor. Thank you, Counselor. On behalf of the plaintiffs, defendants, you're next. Thank you, Your Honor. And Your Honor, on behalf of my client, who's an outstanding accomplished woman with morals and ethics, we, being myself, on behalf of Pinchback Garner, intend to successfully defend her reputation and ensure the continued success of her company. Well, I've heard all I needed to hear. All your paperwork seems to be completed. Your court date will begin in exactly 30 days from today, 8 a.m. sharp. That is, unless you cannot come up with an agreement amongst yourselves. Thank you. Court's adjourned. Thank you, we really appreciate it. Thanks. So what you think about the interview? How do you think Mr. Evers did? I think he did a great job. I think he'd be a great asset to the scene. What you think? I think the same thing. I think he'd be a very, very efficient. We'll get him in and try him out. I think he'd be a good fit. Me too. All right, well, have All a good right. one. And just like that, 
I was back at work. Hey girl, it's Friday night. I'm about to go. I left the door on the way out. Okay, so you have a good weekend. See ya. This weekend couldn't have came fast enough. I just don't think it's fair. That's not fair. That we have to work five days and are only off for two. It should at least be work four and off for three. Percentages, I say, percentages. Some people's work schedules are not as fortunate. I know they schedules be all over the place. <laughs> Girl, look at the time. We got our 15 minutes ago and we still sitting here. Well, I appreciate work. I mean, it keeps me busy. I don't have much to do when I get home anyways, but listen to music, be on Facebook, Instagram, Netflix, watch movies. Girl, you're young. You're hip. You're spunky. You should be out living life. <sighs> and as a friend, I will not let you sit and waste your life by being kidnapped by virtual reality. I'm going to text you this address. Okay, girl. All right.
Black History Month. Oh. Master P, man. He How's Master P in Black History Month? Man, Master P so dope. Play basketball and he a rapper. Can you you know that? what? I believe and he an actor too. Master P did it all. He deserves to be in Black History Month. He- hey, bro, what? Speaking. Hey, what? Um, she ain't no class about the stuff. Oh, uh, Savitra, where's she at? Man, you know how Savitra is, man. All she want to do is skip class and be with that old rapper dude, man. Ain't just like the third, fourth day skipping class? That's all she want to do and just miss class and miss out on good opportunity. Yeah, she a good opportunity. Yeah, I'm missing out too because I need the answer. She don't want to do the homework. Okay, hey, class, I need y'all to pull out your research papers. Y'all thought I forgot. I haven't forgotten yet. Pull them out now. They were already due. Here's my report, Mrs. Ward. Last time they sent me some jury summons, I dipped off. Hope they don't come looking for me for that. What? You didn't even try to see what that was all about? That's the problem. People are quick to do everything they can to get out of jury duty and then wonder why we never get fair treatment in the courts. It's not a burden to serve and be a fair and objective juror and give somebody a fair trial. If all the good people with common sense don't serve, then guess who that leaves? Who gonna serve? All the people who don't have common sense. Fly Stevie. Love and got bad, so the streets been slow. So I slip them holes and halves out the fleet window. I gotta need a trip with at least ten more. So, socket. <laughs> socket to me. Look, time costs money, and right now I have more time than money. That's not a good thing in my view of the world. I know you're doing good with the issue you're selling. But this market is changing. Since El Chapo got caught up, prices about to be unstable. Oh man, come on, you already know. Everything got good, OG. Prices stay fluctuating. This is what I got for you now. Painkillers, depressants, stimulants, and antidepressants. I'll just text you in two days. I need you to heads up on that location. Over $250,000 worth of candy is in them boxes. You keep 25 stacks, lay low, hit it fast, and don't even think about doing that pliers dance. Ain't gonna be no running out once. So you wouldn't get to do it twice. We clear? Ah, really? Yeah, we clear, OG. Yeah, we clear. B. I'm just trying to be the best rapper that it's ever gonna be. And you can think it's a hoax, but when I leave the studio, I sell crack to your folks. And it's a harsh reality that people don't think too highly of my nationality. Now tell me what that is. I'm gonna tell you what that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never gotta hit the licks we did. Maybe send them through school with the hits we did. We've been monitoring the elusive socket, aka over to Marshall, for over eight years. This guy is believed to be responsible for trafficking millions of dollars worth of illicit drugs into the United States. We also believe to have links to him also involved in gambling, pimping, even human trafficking too. Eventually, they all get sloppy and careless and make a mistake. The first time he actually speaks on the phone in years is all we needed to finally bring him to justice. He has definitely made a mistake. What do you want us to do, Director Trosclair? Agent Lyons, Agent Green, these men have no respect for the law. We're going to do what we do best. We're going to allow them to keep operating. We'll let this Poseidon guy go pick up the drugs. And when he does, we will set up entrapments. Seize him, seize his vehicles, seize his worldly possessions, and the drugs. And we will get him to turn on socket. We don't want the small fish, we want the shark. Vashon. How you doing, Miss Jones? You're here for training. That's great. Go ahead and look at that entire manual for me. I'll be right back. I'm going to get something to drink. Miss Jones, you need some help? No, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Just keep studying. Okay. My uh, hair must have gotten my eyes. <laughs> I'll be sure to pin it back, though.
Hello, this is McKinley. Hello, Mr. Phelps. This is Miss Ward. Oh, hi, Mrs. Ward. How you doing? Um, Savita's been missing days of school, and she's also been missing out on very important assignments. Really? And I'm a bit concerned about um someone she's been hanging out with. Really? Okay. All right, well, thank you very much. I appreciate your call, okay? I'm glad to know this. I'll take care of it. Rest assured, I will take care of it. Huh. Running a little late there, cuz. What took you so long? I called your phone and you didn't answer. I missed the bus and my phone did. Well, I know you gotta get situated, but can you please help me with my STEM project? You know the deadline's coming up. Ah, uh, man, that totally slipped my mind. Can I get a rain check on that? I have some reports that I gotta do first, but I'll make it up to you, I promise. You said that last week, and my project is due this week. Savitra, I can't keep procrastinating. You know this STEM program is really important to me, and it's due this week. I'm really trying to be prepared, but I need your help. <laughs> you sound just like your dad. Speaking of him, is he here? No, he had to go look at some stuff at one of his construction sites. What about my aunt? She had choir rehearsal. And my brother? Work. Oh, and by the way, when my dad called earlier, he asked where you were. What did you say? I told him he was upstairs sleeping. I really hate lying to him, but I hate when you lie to me, too. What do you mean? Look, I'm not as a naive person as you think I am. But remember when you used my laptop this morning? Well, I saw the message between you and your little boyfriend beside it. So, I put two and two together and got 13. Realized maybe you was out with him somewhere. Now, I'm no snitch, but I'm no liar neither, and neither are you. So, you're really putting me in a difficult position. Front door. Hey, y'all. Mm. Two of my favorite ladies. What are y'all up to? Well, I'm about to work on my skin project. I'm about to finish my report. Interesting. So, Savitra, since you uh, still got your backpack on, what did you learn in school today? Uh, we learned about proper writing techniques and MLA format for research papers. Is that right? But you know, I need to brush up on my writing skills just a little bit. So, uh, would you uh, by chance happen to mind if I take a look at some of your notes? I need a few pointers. That you can get that on the internet. It's tons of information on that subject. Oh, no, no, no. You know I don't like computers too much. Oh, I didn't take any notes today. So, you didn't take notes on something as important as writing structure? Aisha, uh, can you give us a minute, please? Look. Have a seat, young lady. So let's cut the shenanigans here. The reason you don't have any notes from school is because you wasn't in school today, were you? See, word on the street is that you were roaming around the city during school hours with some guy with gold teeth. Oh, I've been talking to him for a while. He's a really great guy. He raps, and he wants something out of life. Wait, is this guy out of school? How old is he? I know you're not involved with some Chester the Molester. No, Unc. It's not like that. He's just a year older than me. He dropped out of school last year and got his GED. Okay, so he may not be a bad person after all. However, you missing school is totally unacceptable. School is your job and your number one priority. Your mother always stressed the importance of being educated so that you can have more options in life. This world can take your reputation from you. This world can take your fame from you. This world can take your money from you. But the one thing this world cannot take from you is what you know, and that is your education. That is yours forever. Now, whether or not you choose to share it with the world is totally up to you. But understand, back in my day, <laughs> you would have got an ass whooping. 
But see, these days, the government is taking that right away from parents. Then they wonder why all these kids are growing up so out of control, why our prisons are full, why our graduation rates are dropping at historic lows. But it's okay. But you know what? You have always been a respectable and a level-headed young woman, so I will give you a pass. I feel you deserve a break. I'll just chalk this one up to life experience. I know I might seem like a wise older person, but I was once young and foolish. Savitri, you are a good person and you are very, very smart. You're a lot smarter than you want people to believe that you are. So I'm going to trust you to do the right thing going forward. And I will keep this skipping school thing between you and me. And I won't tell your aunt. Now, I'm sure you've got some classwork to do. I spoke to Mrs. Ward and she let me know that you have a big report that you did not turn in. I want that report done and turned in tomorrow. She was nice enough to give you an extension. But one thing about that, and I want to make this perfectly clear. Never take someone's kindness for weakness. Especially mine. Go home, home. late now. Yep. Yeah. Ten to the kiddos. Me too. I'm tired, man. All right, y'all. Bye. See y'all later. Bye. Girl, I hope you got some change on you because you know those Girl Scouts don't take credit cards. I know they've been going up on the prices, but those cookies are so good. Right. Hold on, hold on, right quick. And they are all gone. Hello, Mr. Phipps. Hi there, this is Anitra Shelton. Yes, your attorney. I've got some great news for you guys. Can you come into the office next week? Wonderful. Oh, that's my friend Flo. We go way back. She always got the hookup on everything. Um, let me just finish off this email to this client and I'll be right there. Are you sure your wallet is not in your purse? I didn't go anyplace else and I didn't leave the building. Call security. We have cameras. Hello, Sapphire. I received your complaint. And I spent this morning reviewing all the security cameras. Yeah, I just took my lunch break before I had to train Mr. Everest. I went downstairs to the cafeteria and bought a drink and lunch combo. And I paid with my debit card, which was in my wallet. Mr. Evers was in the break room by himself in approximately five minutes. Great. So, did you see him take my wallet? Well, not exactly. See, we don't have cameras exactly in the break room. Sapphire will have the administrative assistant contact the young man in question and inform him about the pending investigation. Yes, Mr. Evers. We've sent some very important paperwork to your email, and we need you to take a look at it as soon as possible. Yes. Unfortunately, you're being accused of a crime. You said what now? Theft from an employee. Okay. 
I understand, but you're not able to come in to work. You're on leave with pay pending the investigation. I understand. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, that ain't work. Oh, I'm so glad you got the supervisor with this shit. Girl, oh my God. I was wondering who the heck they was going to uh, make the new supervisor. I'm telling you, because if it was tired, I was going to have to quit the time in the job because I ain't got time. You was going to quit? Hell yeah. The shit going to quit? You need to supervisor like that. Man, so uh, the new supervisor was on that stone. So you telling me you called and already stealing? Vashon only been here a few days and he already stole your purse? Oh my God, are you serious? I told you. I Lord. told you. I know. It's bad. It's all the way bad, y'all. <laughs> yeah. It's a pretty nice footwork. Gotta stay back in the middle of the ring again. And then Sun Kiss. My favorite cousin. Who is that? Your baby mama. Whatever, man. Okay, so what are you gonna do? What are you gonna tell Unc? I can't keep covering for you while you play video games. I'm telling him you going to job interviews. Come on, cuz. You know you my favorite cousin. On my daddy's side. Yo, daddy. Huh. I'll be glad when he get out of jail. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Evers. Yeah, you told me at my mom's funeral that if I ever needed anything to give you a call, do you have time to talk? A preacher's work is never done, son. The minute I took this walk, I gave up myself and lived for him. What's on your mind, Mr. Evers? Rev, I'm at a crossroads in my life right now. Every time something go good in my life, something come up and ruin it for me. I just got hired. Now I might end up getting fired over something that I didn't do. You want to know what this reminds me of? Matthew 25, verse 13 through 30. Amen to that. I just pray that God intervenes and make this situation work out for the best. That's two 
250,000 right there, bro. Same, but if y'all got y'all case, my nigga gonna send me the way y'all gonna send me, bro. I don't know nothing about what y'all talking about. Before we send you, you gonna give us this answer. You gonna give us what we looking for. Can I have some need... water, bro? Nah, man, you can't have nothing until we give you. We got. We need the information that we need, man. Look, dog, I'm done talking. I want my. Guess we'll be here for a while. Got my energy drink. I want my lawyer. I got Bashan in trouble. Hopefully he don't lose his job. I know. Girl, I know. That is so crazy. Now you got to tell Mr. Benton what happened. I feel so bad, dude. I really do. Ah, uh, that's great news, Miss Jones. I'm glad to hear that. I'll get right on It's Logan. Green light on Phelps. He was reinstated too. I did talk to him and apologized. He's a real good guy. Sapphire, I really appreciate you for bringing me with these snow cones and... You know, let me enjoy your presence. I am so sorry, Bashan. <laughs> you're a good dude. You really are. The apology I accepted. You're a good person. You know, I'm a good guy. And things like that tend to happen to good guys. I don't know what it is about us. It's just trouble just know how to find us. Hey, one, do you have a minute? Yeah, come in. We came in this law firm together as a friend. I am very concerned. I'm not sure this is something that we can win. Office. 
I had to stop by the car wash. Hold my call. I sure will do, Miss Sayers. something that I've heard on the radio. Oh, really? Ah, wow. Well, I'm not going to hold you. I'm going to get to your work. Maybe we can talk again sometime soon. You betcha. Looking forward to it. I can't believe he got arrested. <laughs> hey, Maurice. Like, where you been? I've been looking for you since first period. What's wrong? My boyfriend's been arrested. You mean the one I warned you about? Yeah. Look, I'm your friend. I'm going to comfort you. But I'm not going to give you a I told you so speech. But, Savitri, you just got to stay focused. Yeah, you're down. You're hurt. But I always stay positive. It's always bright on the other side. God is always with you through everything that you go through. Remember that. Thank you. Y'all and all this technology, and always on the internet and social networks, what's wrong with meeting up and chatting in person? Y'all that just ignored real life and live just to make posts. And don't you be that guy going to bring none of them females something to eat just because they posting about it. If they got a man and they hungry, it's his job to get them something to eat, not you. He either ain't on his job or she trying to make him jealous. Either way, you scroll right past her request, let her figure it out. Hey, Mama. Oh, put your shoes at the door, Sapphire girl. Girl, Mama, go <laughs> get you. <laughs> this morning to come to court today. I got these results from a lab that my law firm had hired. You really might want to take a look at these. Well, how much time do we have? I'd say probably about an hour or so. You know these courts, they always tell us to be here on time, but they never start on time. You have to excuse me. I need to make a quick phone call and set up a meeting. Go ahead. Mr. 
Mr. Bar, where are you now? Oh, Mr. Bar, I don't need you to testify today, but I need you to come down to the courtroom immediately. How long will it take for you to get here? I can make it there in 30 minutes, no more. Uh -huh. Good. Hurry down here, because I have a very important matter to discuss. Rebecca Ayers, Channel 36 News. Today, we're standing live outside of the courtroom attending the Ninoix case. These are the new test results done by more testing on behalf of my lawyers. These results show that there are four unlisted chemicals that have been detected in the products. Four chemicals. And of those four chemicals, Two of them are indeed dangerous once they come into contact with the human body. Can you please explain? Look, Tasha, I do apologize. I was going to tell you. I told you about the other ingredients, but not those four. They're all carcinogens that penetrate the skin and get absorbed to the human bloodstream. Their hair was flawless, and it made you a household name. And in the process, it made you millions of dollars. And doing the proper testing it will add a month, if not years, to the product release. Oh, just stop it. Quit it with the sales pitch. What do you mean good for business? If everybody else had products similar to mine, then they would be standing in a courtroom being sued for $8 million. Just like me. It's one thing to be concerned about external beauty. But we must be aware of what our products are doing internally to people. Are you listening to what you're saying? Well, that may be how hundreds of companies operate their business. But that is not how I operate at my company. Good morning, good morning. You may be seated. I'm glad we were able to make it this morning. Let's get this case underway. Opening statements. Thank you, Your Honor. Not only has consumer confidence been lost, that confidence continues to be shaken nationwide. As consumers have been subjected to someone not minding the store or the ingredients. My clients have lost, Your Honor. They've lost someone that can never be replaced. Your Honor, permission to approach the bench with the other counselors? Motion granted. All counselors may approach. Your Honor, we'd like to discuss this proposal with our clients. So, are there any objections to that, Mr. Lerner? No objections at all, Your Honor. It's an offer for settlement. A $12 million payment, which is $4 million more than we initially asked for. They will cover all attorney fees and court costs. They will issue an immediate and total recall of all remaining product on the market. And Ms. Slaughter's company will issue us a public apology. Live, Channel 36 News. This is Rebecca Ayers. And I have some breaking news. We're standing live inside of the courtroom, and a settlement has just been reached for the Ninoix case. want to wake up and hug you, they get harder and harder. I remember like it was yesterday, on my 16th birthday. You got me that little Xbox. Baby sis was like, V, can I play? 
I was like, nah, Brett, beat it. He said, but Sean, it's your little sister. Treat her like so. I believe that was like the second best advice she ever gave me. And I'm also finna get myself right for my family. I miss my baby boy. I see him, but I don't see him, so it really don't count, right? When you told me a real man is not afraid to show his true feelings. And I believe that's what tore me and Amory apart. I'm ready to let her know how I feel. I guess I get to show her now, right? I've been praying for that too, by the way. It's like praying has been the most thing I've been doing in the past month or so. Mom, I prayed about the settlement and we won. Gone but not forgotten, right? What's up, Dad? I'm in here listening to the slick mixtape and you're yelling my name like somebody's killing you. What's going on? You know that new hair product you're using? Called Slide Right On? Slide Right On? You mean my Slide Right On? Well, according to the news reports, it's making people sick. Sapphire Jones. What a better surprise. Came out here to get a dip in the pool. You out here. To the airport, Miss Jones? Let's roll. Studying and stress. I just need time for myself. I know. I know. Me too. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey. hey. What do 
y'all doing here? Girl, just exercising, getting some fresh air. What you doing out here? I come here every day. You know the older you get, the more concerned I'm about you. Okay. Right. I heard that, girl. Since Charles helped me get the job, I've been able to help Amory and my son financially. She been pretty cool. We are cordial. I see my son on the weekend, but I haven't really just sat down and talked to her. But since we got this settlement from the lawsuit, I got more money coming in, and I'll be able to pay for her college tuition. I'm going to surprise her with that. i also been thinking about going to community college full time. I was checking out the schedules, and they seem to be very flexible course times and dates that cater to the working adult like myself. So it's all about self-improving, huh? Yeah. My day was good. I thought about you a little bit. <laughs> Look, don't start. You miss me? Don't start. You miss me? Hell no. <laughs> I miss you a lot. <laughs> Day. You play. You play too much. You look real happy, don't you? Mm, I like that. Yeah. He's happy now that you're around more. But, you know, you know, I'm going to be around a lot more. Like every day? Every second of every minute <laughs> of every hour in a day. <laughs> We'll see. And I got you something too. Presents? Hmm. <laughs> you know how I do. Close your eyes. Alright, you can open it. You can guess how much it is. You want a hint? How much is your tuition? <laughs> it's $10,000. These dogs don't skip you. Give me some of the loving. Give me some of the loving. joining us on our special segment talking about gun violence. Joining us live through satellite activist Mr. Doug Black. Mr. Black, can you tell us your thoughts on this? Every time I turn on the news, there's always some violence going on. You gotta ask yourself, how can they commit violence without any weapons? Look, it's this one gun company called Freedom Group. This company been in business for over 194 years. They sell guns and weapons in over 84 countries. In fact, they are the largest manufacturer of commercial firearms and ammunition. 194 years. They've been in business before the Civil War. They was even selling guns to the North and the South. 
So if we want to talk about problems of the world, we got to look at things like that. Somebody somewhere is always profiting. It's an increase in property taxes yet again. It's definitely a good sign if you got money. The dollar's harder to come by though every day. People that got old money, they're good. People that don't, it's gonna be hard for them to make it. <sighs> but you know, we gotta foresee these things before they arrive. What we need, we need to come up with something to make money. Something like a fundraiser. Something that can get us through the rest of the year. You have any ideas? I mean, since you are the club manager? Well, we can have a car wash or a big name act come and perform. Now, the concert is too risky. You can lose a lot of money on a concert. What we need to do is think of something that, uh, that we're not going to lose that. Something that's going to bring in a lot of people with a lot of money real quick, you know. Something, something quintessential. Something quintessential? <laughs> Look at you using big words. Exactly. What do that mean, Mr. Club Owner? It means class, quality. You know, you know how big sports are. You got football, basketball, soccer, hockey. It's got to be something else. I got it. Pool. The game of pool. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. You know, I can go ahead and get everything organized. I can send emails, make phone calls, and send out invitations on social media. I'll ten bad. Ten bad by me and y'all. But look, play, we're gonna check, we're gonna play it like this. I'm sharpening, bro. I don't know how to play, man. I don't know how to play, you hear me? So we're gonna keep it like that, but get 10 bands. I'm in there, I guarantee we're bringing it all. Yeah, I'll pass the word too, I got you, bro. Yeah. 10 bands. Right? I don't know, Pooch? Out here, y'all, yeah, I'm down. Hello? Man, you know I'm a fool in that pool table. Well, give me the details then. What's the prize money looking like? Ten stacks? What are you playing? Ten thousand for real? Say, say, say. I, here I come, man. I'm on my way right now, bro. They have a pool table tournament coming. Check your email. I just said it. A pool table tournament? You want me to join? Sure, I ain't got no problem. You know I'm good. As a matter of fact, I'm the best. Floyd Mayweather, the pool. Welcome all participants to our first BOC pool tournament. I am your host, Diana Rowe. And let's give it up to our club owner, Mr. Suave. And we'd like to thank him for bringing us this great event. Would you like to say anything? Now y'all know I'm a man of few words and many actions. So with that being said, let's get this pool tournament started and let the best man or woman win. Now, y'all have to pay some bills and go buy some at the bar. So you think you're ready, Seth? Look at my eyes. You tell me if I'm ready. Uh, you gonna see.
I'm a great blue player. Just let me show you something.
Yeah, we supposed to miss kickoff. We supposed to be here for kickoff. Yeah, I know Pop, but I had to spend time with this fine lady. Oh, yeah? She that fine? Yeah, she fine, man. I'll tell you all about it. Oh, hey, Mom, how you doing? Hey, baby, how you doing? Well, I swear, these youngsters these days. So what, lady? You ain't saying nothing to me about no lady. Welcome to Express Your Canvas. I'm Yolanda Harris. I'll be your instructor for tonight. My number one rule, we have fun, we smile, drink, eat, and we just straight up kick it. Now, on your picture, what you're going to do, you're going to draw a heart because what we're going to do is you're going to create a picture that demonstrates or that illustrates love never ends or not love never fails. What's your name? My name's Sapphire. Sapphire? What's she look like? Um, she about yay high, light skin, with dread, you know, very beautiful, intellectual. Matter of fact, picture right here in my phone. She's got a writer. I know her. She works with me. She's a good one, son. I'm a neighborhood superstar. 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 Riding in a foreign car. Hopping out with Tony Braxton in the orange bra. Yes, you know my name. Matter of fact, you saw my tape. Matter of fact, you know we don't sip on the deuces. We got aces. That pretty good, didn't it? Yeah, it was a good time that one. Yeah. My mom would have loved it. I know she's mad. Man, Uncle Show sure know how to bring them out, don't he? Yeah, man, man. You know Pops don't play. You already know Pops don't play. Yeah, he did that. But, uh, we got some business to handle. Alright, don't start that. Come on. Hit the court right there. Yeah, they won the lawsuit. Yeah. Oh, there's scout cookies. Hold on, I'm gonna call you back. Yes, we have all kinds of flavors. It's only five dollars for a box. Why is that so? Give me two boxes then. Yeah, for the players. I got a question for all y'all ballers out there. What do you get when you take the ball sitting off and hook them up with a backdraft? You gotta hit. That's what you got. 
Y'all yeah, just chill on this. Yeah. Know we had to do something all the players. Rock back. Count the paper stack, you know. Chill. Go check. And let them know. Y'all wanna know who is this? Come witness two players that's dropping these hits with the quickness. Uh-huh. Slim Thug and SCJ be some ballers, that's about I pay. You howlers on the end of state, candy crawlers down the MLK. I do day for day on the block, pushing rocks and ducking cops. Ice dot and candy drops, making all these boppers pop. When I come through, candy blue, rolled out up in the coupe, doing 120 when I hit the loop and hop a suit. It's you know who, the boss of the night for that ace time, cause ace time's my playground. I'm a D-time nigga, stay down If it wasn't for you, I'd be broke now My lifestyle, no joke now All I smell is hydro smoke now I'll star hoes, I poke now We move the keys to that coke now Bounce house, out loud, they playing the grow Act up and I crack a jaw We make the rules, it's obey the law Some of the throw that you ever saw Show me the green light and I'ma take flight Making my way with SCJ on my right Breaking the track when I hop on the mic Giving the whole world whatever they like Cause I bang like screw Pop tops on player haters Cause I do what I do Man don't even get respected If you're feeling rejected Call me little one the reckless Cause I'm straight from down Texas I put it down all the time I smoke a pine Every time I ride a pine Got horns run up on me now That was the deal I put in work The niggas know the twunk Gon' get they horn Pull up by her goddamn skirt Now what the hell is going down And when I rip and I flip them Hold on no the twunk I'm coming through I'm wrecking and kicking How in the hell you wanna to prevail On my block You talking shit but shit Can't hook the little twunk Creep on the spot My nigga on me coming Ripping empire thing Boss hogging them thugs, we coming through and showing the game Popping them chains, got them hoes saying, ooh man I inject nothing but the pain, put my dick in the brain And I know Empire thing, John Wayne I'm the outbreak, these people can't contain I'm a starter, rookie of the year in the game See, I'm counting big change, and I can't even drink I'm too young to be in the club, and I'm still VIP The hell with curse, you would slay, and I'm on these three I'm coming to your state, just to act a star I bought the bar, gender, so you can't buy the bar Excuse me, store clerk, I need condoms, extra long I miss the fight, act rough, cause I stay extra hard Yeah, nice system, but mine make way more noise I got your girl on her knees and she ain't praying to the Lord And that's red out the mustard, cause I eat y'all up Y'all rappers can't, y'all grab the microphone and y'all suck Yeah, I'm a bull, huh, down, if she acting stuck up No, man, I ain't hit your girl, she was just starstruck